This is the story of a honeybee and its honey, a story as old as time itself that begins in the hive and ends on your table. It's collection day. The average female worker bee visits up to 100 blossoms, filling her honey sack with nectar and using her hairy body to collect nearly half her weight in pollen that's then taken back to the hive. But she's doing much more than simply foraging for food. You see, bees disperse some of the pollen they collect, and this pollination is responsible for one in three bites of food that we eat, which means they give us a lot more than just honey. When it comes to honey, the type of forage where the nectar is collected significantly affects its flavor, which is why every type of honey looks and tastes a little different from the others. Different flower, different flavor. This is Ted. He's a beekeeper and a honey producer. So the bees are all coming back full of nectar. They're gonna store it here in these frames. Um, these modern beehives are a series of boxes. It makes the perfect home, the right amount of space for up to 50,000 bees. We use a little bit of smoke covers up the alarm pheromone, just keeps everybody happy, makes it easier for the beekeeper to work. Each beehive, on average, will produce 65 pounds of surplus honey. The anatomy of the honeybee is, is perfect for making honey. So they've got this long tongue that, where they can get in, suck out the nectar from the flower. They have a honey sack, or it's a, really like a second stomach. So they store the nectar there on their way back to the hive, and eventually they'll cap it off as finished honey, and it's the only food that never spoils. It's good forever. The worker bees store the nectar in the cells of a honeycomb. Then they flap their wings, causing most of the water and the nectar to evaporate, leaving us with the delicious liquid that we call honey. Everyone has a role, and all of them revolve around the queen. She's bigger than the rest of them. That's our queen bee. Every colony has one. She lays over 2,000 eggs on any given day and is mother to every bee in the hive. The all-female worker bees do it all. Cleaning, feeding, building, and repairing, not to mention foraging. They don't usually live much longer than a month. Every producer has their own special way of harvesting honey. They collect it from the honeycomb just like it's been done for thousands of years. The honey is extracted from the frames by a spinning centrifuge that forces the honey out of the comb. Once the honey is extracted, it's gently warmed, then filtered. From vats to bottles, bottles to boxes, and boxes to trucks, the honey makes its way to your corner grocery store. And after that, your kitchen table. Honey is one of humankind's earliest available ingredients and has made its way into thousands of recipes. Our humble, hardworking honeybee is responsible for so many flavors for our world that go beyond just honey. Given how important they are to our crops, the declining bee population represents a real threat to some of our favorite foods. And that's precisely why beekeepers and the entire honey industry are providing their support to help the bees, from researching pests and pathogens that are killing them to implementing the latest innovations in hive management practices. Working with bees is a labor of love. You can see it through the beekeepers every single day, and you can taste it in the honey itself. Visit honey.com to learn more about nature's finest work.